all right what is going on everyone it is Q here today and so if you see me looking off to the side remember this is where i have my face cam so i'm seeing make sure everything is lined up properly and all that stuff and in front of me is what i'm looking at the program i'm going off of so it's time to monologue because it's been over a year since i released my last youtube video because i released the recap for the USAPL West Coast Regionals in Las Vegas, Nevada last year on August 15th, if I remember. I did it two days after. I'm recording this the night after this meet, so basically the meet I'm recapping is the USAPL Summer Sizzle, hosted in Roseville, California at Absolute Flex Appeal. They moved back to their smaller location, so it was a smaller meet, but the fun thing about this meet was that it was me and then all the boys at Legion. So basically, what me and Lucas like to call the Legion that I'm running now is Legion Phase 4. The Legion that he ran was Legion Phase 3. We kind of had Phase 4 and Phase 3 together, which was kind of cool. But basically, we're just going to monologue the f*** out of this thing. And this is going to be like at least a 45-minute footage of me just talking. And uh, there's probably not going to be as many breaks. It's just, well, one, I haven't recorded a video in a while and I'm really tired. And it's 2.47 in the morning over here. So, yeah, let's start. So this prep, we had the meet today on August 17, 2024. We are going to pr um, prep and recap everything 15 weeks out. So in front of me is my program that I'm reading off. I'm not going to show the whole thing, obviously. But we're going to start on block 29, then block 30, then block 31, then block 32 is the finale. So block 29 was a short three-week tune-up prep. This is what we just called the, the tune-up for the prep because... Um, I recapped and monologued every single block uh, from regionals last year in August all the way up until March of this year. I have that footage ready, I just never uploaded and edited it because they're both hour-long footages of me just monologuing and it's literally just hour-long talking and there's no breaks, no nothing. So yeah, it's a lot, but we're going to do it for this because I want to upload a recap because I like uploading a recap for all the meets that I do. So yeah, let's start here. So we are 15 weeks out and how my training is structured right now, Monday is primary squat and tertiary bench. Wednesday is primary deadlift and secondary bench. Friday is secondary squat and quaternary bench. And then Saturday is primary bench and secondary deadlift. So I'm gonna only recap Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday just because those are the primary days. Friday is usually just a meme session of just getting the work done and just getting stimulus for the upcoming days. So yeah. This is March 29th. I have the dates set up on all these uh, days, so I'll actually know what I'm talking about. I'll have the footage up on the left of me over here because I film vertically now because the last time I made a, uh, a video, I filmed still horizontally with the camera. But now I use the camera for everything and posting it on social media and all that shit just because I like posting all my shit because it's fun. So yeah, we're starting 15 weeks out Monday, April 29th with Primary Squat. For this, we had a top double and RP6. So this, how this block was structured, it was three weeks only. Squat was top doubles, deadlifts were triples, and then bench was singles. Yeah. For Monday, we had a, a double at six. So I did 175 kilo for my top double, and then I did a three by four with 160 kilos. This was also the time when I switched back to flats, squatting in the Avanza shoes again. And then I also switched to SBD sleeves because this was around the time I was becoming too reliant on stiff sleeves. Like, this is when I was using my helix sleeves, and those things fucking ripped in half, and there was literally a gash going down the whole left side of the sleeve. And so I literally told myself, I was like, let's stop being a b let's use SBDs, and just rely on me being stronger, and just getting the movement pattern, and just having these sleeves as just knee support, and not actually relying on the stiffness to bounce me out of the hole. So yeah, that's what uh, we're going with in squad this block. And then going into deadlift, we had a triple at 6 and then 3x5 at 6. We started off this block with an easy 240 kilo triple. At this point in the pre-pro, my deadlift was feeling on point. It was like, my tech was amazing and everything was just flying. This was also around the time, this, uh, this was after my first month I started working at Costco because I started working there at the end of March. And so I've been working there ever since. So this is when I was still working in the front end area. So I was outside pushing carts literally all day. So I would train. I would work the closing shift from 2.30 to 11. And then I would get home at 11.30, shower, do my hair, take some pre at midnight, get to the gym at 12.30, train from 12.30 to 2.30 in the morning or even 3 a.m., go to sleep or eat, go to sleep, and then repeat the same process each day. So this was like a really like stupid time for me to train i was a low 90 percent of the time 
but uh, most of the boys were working really late at this point too so we had some of the like we basically had like the normal crew at midnight some days or i was just by myself at 2 a.m but yeah at this point deadlift was feeling really good and i was really happy with deads squat was just taking some time to figure out and then going into Saturday session, we had a single at 6 to 7, and then a 3 by 5 at 6. And if I remember correctly, this session was at midnight as well. And bench bench around the time when I started working started to take a hit just because my upper body was so slammed. Because literally, uh, the front end position at Costco, when you're pushing carts, you're literally just outside pushing carts all the way. And it's, by pushing carts, it's literally like a sled push. So people who have done like the athletic movement or played sports, you know what a sled push is. It's literally that. So my body, my upper body was fried all day. I'd have 25,000 steps, 30,000 steps in me on some days. My squat and deadlift felt great from that. My bench felt horrible. And my bench is already bad enough, so this was already like a... This felt demoralizing. Now into week two. Week two, I hit a double with uh, 182 and a half kilos on squat, and then my 3x4, I hit 170. This session felt a little bit weird, because... I remember too, I switched to the high top of Vances at this point to squat in, and I didn't realize that tying the the ankle part too tight would make my squat feel like I'm falling into my heels. I'm stupid, I know. But yeah, this is why this session did not feel as great, but um, getting just like heavier weights on my back and not having to rely on stiff sleeves again was just getting more confidence in it, and which was great. Then we go into the Wednesday session, May 8th. We had a triple at 7. I hit 250. It moved pretty smoothly. It wasn't a true RP7. It was more on the 7.5 side, but it was still smooth nonetheless. And then my 3x5, I hit 230 kilos for all three sets, which was also a tonnage PR on a primary day for me, which was really good. The thing with deads, this prep and then this pre-prep was the um, just like the, the total tonnage of deadlift just rising each week because my minimum weight working set, the entire prep was 220 kilos, nothing less than that. And then going into the Friday session, we had a single at 7. I ended up hitting 125 kilos. It was not an RP7. It moved pretty smooth. It was because we had the whole squad late at night, and I'm pretty sure that was the night Zay came home from Slow, San Luis Obispo. And then so we had literally the whole squad at Legion at 1 a.m. So it was fun. So I kind of, you know, overshot because I'm stupid. This is the pre-prep, by the way. It's not the prep yet, so this is where I could get away with being stupid a little bit. And then I just did 100 kills for my 3x5 back down. And then this is on the time too when my secondary did was feeling like just average. I noticed throughout the rest of this prep that my secondary deadlift started feeling better than my primary. And that's a good sign and a bad sign at the same time. And now going on into week 3. This is the last week of this pre-prep block. So we had the double at 7 to 8 on squat. And then a 3 by 4 back down at 7. So for my double, I hit 190 kilos. It was more on the 8.5 side just with how it felt. It moved like a 7-8. It felt pretty smooth. But like I said, I just never had this. It sounds really stupid, but I just never had above 182.5 kilos on my back without stiff sleeves. And as much of a placebo stiff sleeves can be and how overrated they really are, it's just that mental factor of having that stiff neoprene around your knee versus the more compressive SPD sleeves, which I happen to fall in love with even now, like I even that use them in the meat. But yeah, so that was a SPD sleeve PR. And then my 3x4, I just did 170 kilos for all three sets of four. So that moved really smooth. And then going on into Wednesday session, May 15th, I had a triple at 7 to 8. I PR'd and hit 260 kilos for a triple, and it felt like a true RP8. This session was so funny. I worked uh, 230 to 11 this day. I had 30,000 steps in me. I probably had about 3,000 calories in me still, but it was just the fact that I had 30,000 steps in me. I went to, I got off work, I showered, I got home. All the squad of Legion was there, which was nice. Or they all finished, but then they got food and then just stayed with me so I can hit my set, which was, you know, nice of them, because shout out to the squad. But yeah. I had 260 kilos. I'm, I have the video on the screen. That thing was fucking smooth. Like, that is probably the easiest feeling rep PR I have ever hit on deadlift. And I could genuinely tell you I could have done two more and hit it for a set of five because how easy that felt. And then my back downs, I just kept it pretty chill with just four reds for the three by five. And that was pretty chill. That was just a good session overall. I don't know how I made it through the rest of that session because I felt dead after deadlift, obviously. 
Now let's go into the Saturday session. The external factors going into the session were pretty sh because uh, everything felt heavy. I was zapped from work and I was pretty much just tired from the rest of the week. So I hit 125 kilos again. That one moved worse than the last week. And then for my three by five, I did 105 kilos. And then this whole session, I remember vividly, it was horrible. So yeah, that was just a pretty sh session overall to end that three week block. Now we are in to block number 30, which is the start of prep. So we're starting 12 weeks out, and this block is triples on squat and triples on deadlifts and then doubles on bench. We've never done the doubles peak with um, bench, having two blocks of doubles and then the singles. So the, how it's working, squat and deadlift taper down from triples to doubles into singles. Bench was doubles, doubles, and then singles into the last block. Man, my eyes are red, bro. I probably have like a gram of caffeine in me from today. I've been up for almost 24 hours. But we're still going strong. We're going to finish this video. Yeah, so for our triple at six, uh, I'm pretty sure I was off this day. So I remember I actually got to train during the day. So usually on Monday and Tuesday, I was off. So on Monday, I could actually train during like regular human hours, which was nice. But yeah, so our triple at six, I just did 170 kilos. Felt like a true RP at six. And then our two by six, um, I just did 150 kilos because this is where we found out that anything over six on squat will tax the out of my back and affect my deadlift horribly. So yeah, that sucked. And then deadlift, we decided to push some volume a little bit on our back down. So on our triple at six, I hit 245 kilos. It felt like a six and a half. I was originally only going to do 240 and I did, but I botched some of my tech and it kind of just pissed me off. So I just put on the black plate and then I just did 245 kilos and I moved it arguably better. It did, in my mind, it was a six, but in reality, it probably was a six and a half. And then we had a, a 2 by 7 at RP6. I did 220 kilos for both sets of 7. Those felt really smooth. That was like my, at the time, my 8 rep max was 220 kilos. So that was really smooth. Going into Saturday's session on May 25th, we had a double at RP5. I did 110 kilos. It felt like a 5.5 at the most. And then our 3 by 6 at RP5, I just did 90 kilos just to get some tech work in. And then on this time, we went from comp deads on our secondary day to pause deadlifts. So like I said, I was just pausing four reds on each one of these, um, what do you call it, the, each one of these secondary days. I'm not going to put the video up on this one just because it's literally just me hitting four reds each week. But yeah, now we move into 11 weeks out on week 2, May 27th. We had a triple at 6-7 to seven for squat. I did 180 kilos. This actually felt really good for me. Uh, this was a good confidence booster going into squat. Felt like a true 6.5, and, and that was great. And then uh, for our back downs of a 2 by 6 I did 160 kilos for both si sets of 6. And those felt really nice and smooth. It didn't really tax my back at all, which was great. And just because with the way I'm built for squat, I have a super short torso and really long legs. So no matter what, I'm always going to fold out of the hole, no matter how hard I try not to. It's just going to happen. That's just what I'm going to have to live with. And then going into week two, this is where I noticed my primary deadlift session started to feel a lot worse than the secondary. I don't know why it just started to happen. I think it's just because the momentum we started catching from squat. So for deadlift, we had a triple at seven, and I like to take 10 kilo jumps. This was my thought process at the time. I like to take 10 kilos on jumps week to week. So I was like, okay, I did 245. I don't want to do 250 this week. Let's do 255. 255 moved relatively well. It wasn't an RP7. It's more an RP8. Like, it still moved really well. It's just with how my I get slammed after reps, it felt like an eight. So it wasn't the greatest set of uh, three, but it was still a smooth one. And then our back downs of a two by sevens from six to seven, I bruised my left hand <laughs> on that triple when I threw the bar down because I was pissed. So I had to use straps on these sets of seven and I haven't used straps in like a year and a half at this point. And it felt weird because I was like, damn, that looks so easy when you don't have to worry about actually holding onto the fucking bar, which was kind of funny. So those were easy sets of 220. Going into Saturday session, I had a double at six and then a three by six at six for my double. I hit 115. I got way too overzealous this session. I remember this was another midnight 1 a.m. session. That 115 felt horrible. And then my back downs of 95, those felt a lot better, but it was just a shitty bench session overall. Pause deadlifts again, just hit four reds again, 220. Now we go on to week three, 10 weeks out. It is June 3rd. This is coming off my me and my girlfriend's seven year anniversary on June 2nd, the thing prior, driving to San Jose there and back. Eating some great Korean barbecue at Baek John Korean Barbecue in San Jose. That place is amazing. I want to go back. 
But yeah, we are 10 weeks out. It is June 3rd. We had a triple at 7 on squat once again. I ended up hitting 190 kilos. I remember this. It was really smooth. This was also a huge confidence booster for me going in the squat. It was more an RP8 than 7, but the, it moved really smooth, and it was feeling really good to start repping 190 for me. And then our 3x6 at 6 to 7, I did 150 kilos for all three sets of 6, so that was, that was really smooth. Now we go on to deadlifts on Wednesday, June 5th. We had a triple at 7 to 8, and then a top set of 7 at 7, and then our back downs uh, deadlifts 2x7 at an RP6. So my top set of 3 was an R uh, I loaded 260. It, this pissed me off. I shouldn't have taken this thing. I should have retaken 255 or even 250, let alone. But I got way too overzealous because I had I was off this day, and I had all the boys around me, and I just got way too damn than I should have. I loaded 260. The first rep felt heavy, and I was like, oh, shit, this isn't good. The second rep moved smoother. The story of my deadlift, this thing was that my second rep on all of my rep sets was always the best feeling rep. And I was like, the second one was heavy. I was like, oh, and the third one, I got to the top, and this was around the time in Fresno when it was 115 degrees for like two weeks straight. And it was humid inside of Legion because Legion's an old auto shop. So it was really wet inside the building, and at the top, my hand started opening up my right, my overhand. That was the story of this prep. So that sucked. So that was technically an RP10. And then for my top set of seven, I did 230 kilos for my set of seven, which was a low-key, really nice rep PR. And then my 2x7 back down, I just did 220 kilos for that. Going into Saturday's session, I retook 115 kilos for my double. It moved better than the week prior. It still wasn't an RP7. It was me being stupid and overshooting at midnight like I should not. 3x6 on bench hit 95 kilos for all three sets of six. A pause deadlifts again, once again, hit 220 kilos for all my pauses. And then going into week four, nine weeks out, June 10th. We had a squat triple at 7 to 8. I only did 192 and a half kilos just because uh, warm-ups didn't feel too great. So I was like, okay, let's just chip the week prior. It actually moved fairly well. I know I had at least two more in me. I probably could have got away with 195 and it still felt really good. And then our 3x6, I just did 160 kilos for all three sets of six. That was a really good squad day overall. Then we go into my birthday, June 12th. So the ex on my pre-training questions, everything was green which was nice, so all the external factors were great. And I was feeling really solid this session. So I had a triple at 8 on deadlift. I once again retook 260. It moved a lot better than the week prior, but the same thing happened again where I, I was at lockout. I pretty much locked it out, but my hands started to open up again, so I was like, ah, shit. But I was like, at least I know I'm good for one rep on the platform, which is all you fucking need. It sounds stupid, I know, but this is just the thought process at the time from what I remember. <laughs> And then for our top set of seven, I ended up PRing and hitting 240 kilos for a set of seven. I just used straps for this one. That shit was an RP10, but it was a crazy rep PR regardless. And then my 2x7 back down, I just did 220 kilos for all two sets of seven. So that was a good birthday sesh overall. And then going into the Saturday of that week four uh, for bench, I ended up PRing and hitting 120 kilos for my double for a rep PR, that was nice. Wasn't an RP7. I was being stupid this whole damn thing. But I will show my deadlifts from this day because uh, I wanted to push my secondary dead since it was the week four. I was like, okay, we sandbag weeks one through three. Let's try and push week four a little bit. So we had a pause deadlift three by four. I PR'd and hit a pause deadlift set of 230. I was like, damn, that was easy. I went up to 235. I was like, damn, that was really easy. And then I went up to 240, and I was like, damn, that was really easy. So all three of those sets right there were pause PRs, so that was pretty cool. And that is it for block three. Damn, I'm on actually on way better pace. Now we are on to block 31, the doubles, doubles, and doubles block. So doubles on squat, doubles on deadlift, doubles on bench. So yeah, we are now eight weeks out. It is June 17th on this Monday session. We had a double at six on squat. I originally did 182 and a half kilos. I just didn't like how it felt and the reps were a little bit high. My thought process this whole prep was so stupid just because I was training so late at night that I was just getting into my own head. I was like, you gotta be better. So yeah, I went up and hit 190 kilos. Don't get me wrong, it was a really smooth double. Was it an RP6? No, it was more of a seven. And then our three by five back down, I just, I just did 160 kilos for all three sets of five. So as you see, the it goes from triples to doubles and then our uh, rep sets go from six to fives. 
on squat. And then on deadlift, we had a double watch six, and then our back downs go from a three by seven to a three by six, just kind of tapering away the reps. So for our top double, I had 250 kills for my double, and then a three by six. From what I remember this session, my tech felt like but the weights were moving great. So the double with 250 was really smooth. The tech was just horrible. Like my hips kept shooting. I kept getting pulled forward. I wasn't being patient off the ground. That was a story of deadlifts as prep. And then, like I said, three by six with 220. My minimum working set all this prep was just 220 kilos, which was nice. And then on bench, we had a double at six again. So I just did 110 kilos. I felt like a good RP six. And then a three by six just did 100 kilos. And then our deadlifts went from uh, pause deadlifts to comp deadlifts. So I just did 220 kilos for my three by four and RP five. So that was nice. Finished that week with a 550 total for doubles. Now we are seven weeks out on week two. It is June 24th, and I hit a double with 195 kilos on squat for an RP7, or it was an RP7, it felt more like a 7.5. This was a nice little rep PR for squat, so like I said, this was just gaining confidence. We had a top back down set of 5, and then a 2x5 back down. So for the top set, we did 170 kilos, and then the back down 2x5, we did 160 kilos for both sets. So squat was actually catching a decent momentum this whole prep. I was actually really satisfied with how squat ended up turning out. Now on June 26th, the primary deadlift session, we had a double at 7, and then a top set of 6 at an RP7, and then a back down 2 by 6 from the RP6 to 7. So the double, we did 260 kilos. It felt really good. Was it a 7? No. Like I said, the story of this prep was just me being stupid and just overshooting on days I just did not need to. Really need to hold myself accountable more. Yeah, so the double, it moved smooth. It just wasn't a 7. And then our top set of six, I did 230 kilos. That moved really smooth. And then the back downs with the two by six just did 220 kilos again. Like I said, the minimum working set, 220. We go into Saturday session. We had a double at seven, hit 115, moved pretty smooth. Was it a seven? No, it was more a seven and a half to eight. And then a three by six on our back downs, we just did 100 kilos. And then our comp deadlifts did a top set of four with 230 kilos. And then a back down two by four with 220 kilos. So that was a 570 weekly total for doubles, which was nice. Now we go on to week three. This was 4th of July week, so I was working every single day this week, pretty much. So yeah. And this is a, actually, yeah, this is the time when I started training earlier. So I ended up training from at 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. from all the way that to 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. before work, just so I can get used to the time we would be competing at. So six weeks out, it is Ju July 1st. We had a double at 7 and 8, and then a top set of 5 at a seven and then a three by five back down at a six to seven. So for our double, we PR'd and hit 200 kilos for a set of two, which was nice. The first rep was a little bit high. The second rep was sunk. So that was a really good confidence booster. Our top set of five, I just did 150 kilos. And then a three by five, I did 150 kilos for that just because I was a little, I was running a little bit late on this session to work. So I kind of had to hurry up. So I just did 330 pounds for all my four by five. So yeah, that was cool. And then deadlift, we had a 7 to 8 double, and then a top set of 6 at 7, and then a 2 by 6 back down at 6 to 7. So I was stupid again. Like, I just... Ugh, I, it just frustrates me looking back on this prep, on all the little stupid mistakes that I did. And it ended up costing me in the end. So I had a double at 7 to 8. I was so hell-bent on doubling 270, which is 5 reds. The first rep moved okay. It, was, it felt heavy. It moved still relatively fast. I go for the second rep. The tech felt better. I just got to the top. My hands started opening up again because, like I said, it was 109 degrees outside of Legion, and it was just humid in the building, so it was just wet and sticky in the building, so that was just not fun. So, yeah, no excuses, but it's just me being dumb. And then our top set of six, I did 230 kilos. That was the heaviest 230 kilos has ever felt, and then back down all the way to four reds for my 2x6. That felt smooth again, so that was, you know, saved the session at least. And then going into Saturday's primary session for bench, we it was July 6th. We had a double at uh, 7 to 8, and then a 3 by 6 at a RP7. So this um, this day felt all right. Uh, for the double just did not feel good because, I uh, yeah, I weighed in lighter that day at 87.4 kilos. I was normally walking around at like 88 and a half this prep. Yeah, so I took 115 for my double. That was more of an RP9. Like I said, just being dumb on days, I just don't need to be stupid. Just, I should have listened to my body more. 
and then the three by six we just did 100 kilos and then on the comp deadlifts we had a three by four my first set i did 235 kilos i was like okay that was pretty easy i went up to 240 that was pretty easy and then just dropped down to 220 for my last set so that was really good that was a 585 weekly total for doubles and then a yeah so that was solid overall in numbers wise now we are at five weeks out is july 8th we had a double at eight on squat and then a top set of five at seven to eight and then a back down four by five at a seven lucas really had me do a five by five on this dance squat which is crazy so it was a total tonnage pr that day for squat so that was cool i guess yeah so retook 200 kilos i wasn't feeling the greatest that day but it was good to have 200 kilos on my back two weeks in a row to doubles which was nice the top set of five we did 170 kilos and then the four by five after that i did 160 kilos so that was really nice tonnage for squat and then story of the prep again, July 10th, primary deadlift. We had a double at eight, a top set of seven to eight, uh, six, and then a back down three by five at seven. So the double at eight, I loaded 272 and a half, which is 600. I hit the first rep. The second rep started slipping out of my hand again just because it was so humid. But just like I said, just me being stupid on days, I should not be stupid. Or just me not being, you know aware of what's going on like dude you're tired from work it's humid outside you know your hands slipping why are you loading so much weight that you know you shouldn't like you should only be hitting for your singles and not doubles it was just my ego just getting the best of me which sucked top set of six i did 220 kilos and then the first back down set of five i did 240 kilos for five which was actually pretty smooth and then the back down two by five i did 230 kilos this session was all over the place, honestly. I was at the gym way longer than I needed to this day. I had a morning shift, and I was able to just train at night for a little bit, and I was just there for way too long than I needed to. And then on to finish off the week four, we had a double at eight on bench, and then a three by five back down on bench. The double, we hit 115 kilos, which was actually pretty solid today from what I remember. And then the three by five, we just did 100 kilos just to keep it light. And then the comp deadlift, so we had a three by four. I just did 230 kilos for all of the three sets of four. Had a 587 and a half weekly total for doubles, so that was solid numbers wise, but it just, you know, just me being stupid. And now we are on to the finale, block 32. So we are now five weeks out. It is July 15th. We had a, we had singles all across the board now. So we had singles on squat, bench, and deadlift. So on our primary session for week one, we had a single at six, and then a six to seven top set of five, and then a two by five back downs at six. So for the single, we hit 180 kilos, which was really smooth. Top set of five, we hit 160 kilos. And then our back down two by five, we hit 150 kilos. Kept a really chill this session. This was a really good squat day. Squat was feeling really good this prep. I was actually really happy with squat. Deadlift, we had a single at six. I hit 250 kilos. That actually felt like a true RP6. I was really satisfied with that session. The top set of five, we had 230 kilos. And then our two by five, I did 220 kilos again. This was a really good solid deadlift session. This is like probably my favorite deadlift session all of prep. Even though this whole prep deadlifts body me. Me and Asher were talking about this, just how deadlifts just felt super inconsistent. Like squat felt really good, but just deadlifts just did not feel consistent each session in fact the secondary days just felt better than the primaries so that's probably a sign to move primary dead to saturday going into saturday session we had a single at six did 115 kilos that actually moved really well and it felt like a true six we had a back down of a, a top set of five at seven and then a two by five back down at six to seven did 105 kilos for my first set and then the two by five i just did 100 kilos after that Deadlifts, we just had a 3x3. Three three. We had a top set of 3 and then a back down 2x3. So for the top set, did 240 kilos. This is my first time getting a deadlift with Lucas, and I've been coached by him for like 2 years. Almost 3, which was kind of funny. And then the 2x3 after that, we just did 220 kilos. So that was a 545 weekly total. So that was solid for an RP6 week. We are now into week 2. It is 4 weeks out. We had a single at 7 on squat. Did 190 kilos. That felt really good. I was really happy with this session too. And then our back downs, we had a 3x4 with a top set being at 7, and then the 2x4 back down being at 6 by a six to 7. Did 170 kilos for the first set, and then 160 kilos for the last two. This was a really good squat day overall. Like I said, the squat days were just feeling very good week to week. Even if I did overshoot a little bit, they were just feeling very consistent. Deadlift on week 2, July 24th, we had a single at 7, and then a 
top back down set at uh, six to seven, and then a uh, top set of four at six to seven, and then backed off two by four at six. So for the single, we hit 260 kilos. The tech felt horrible. It still moved very fast, and it felt like a seven and a half. Like I said, me not listening to my body again. I should have just taken 250 again this day, but I didn't. And then for our first set of four, we did 235 kilos for four. That felt pretty smooth overall. And then our back down two by four, I just did 220 kilos again. Going into Saturday session, July 27th. Yeah, so for my single at seven, I hit 120 kilos. This moved really smooth, even though I did wake up lighter that day. So that was really good. Our three by four, I did 105 kilos for all three sets of four. That was pretty smooth. And then comp deads, we just had a two by three. I did 240 kilos for both sets. So that's a good secondary day tonnage for me. 570 weekly total that week. We are now three weeks out. We had a single at eight on squat and then a top set of three at seven to eight, then a back down two by three at seven. So for the single, we hit 200 kilos. This moved really smooth for how heavy it felt on my back. But yeah, it moved really smooth and I was happy with that a single. First set of three, I did 175 kilos just to keep it lighter. Felt pretty heavy just because I was kind of smoked from the single. And then the two by three, I just did 170 kilos. But the depth was feeling pretty good. So I was just scared that my depth was going to be high all prep, to be honest. But I sunk everything. Now going on into week three, uh, we had a single at eight, a top set of three at seven to eight, then a back down two by three in RP6. So me being stupid again, loaded 265 kilos. It just did not move like it should. Like uh, this is the one session where this is the session where I was like, dude, deadlift is not going to fucking be great this for the rest of this prep. I was like, there's no reason I should be getting body by 265 kilos. It was whatever. I hated that single. And then for our first set of three at 7, 8, did 245 kilos. That moved all right. And then our 2 by 3 back down, I just did 240 kilos just to work on some more patience off the ground. Those moved relatively well. On week three, we had a single at 8 and then a 3 by 3 at 7, 8 on bench. So for our single, we hit 125 kilos. This actually moved really smooth. I was happy with this one. It kind of sucked, though, because midway through the press, I slipped halfway up the pad, but nonetheless, the rep was really smooth. Then a 3x3, three three, we just did 110 kilos for all three sets of three, so that was a nice bench day overall. Uh, comp deadlift, I had a 2x3 two at 7 to 8, so I wanted to push it a little bit because I was pissed off from the primary session. So I did 250 kilos or 240 kilos for my first set of three, got mad how it felt, went up to 250, and I moved the 250 arguably better than the 240. So yeah, that was nice. That was a 590 overall weekly total. Now we are into week four. We had singles at eight and a half. So for our single on squat, we hit, it hit 205 kilos and this felt right on the money. My depth was perfect. It felt really good on my back. I figured out how to wedge into the bar properly on squat to make the unrex feel lighter. This was a really good squat day overall. We had a top set of three at eight, just did 170 kilos to keep it light. And then we had a light back down two by three at seven, did 160 kilos for both sets. Really good squat day overall. This was my favorite squat day of the pro. And now on to fucking deadlift. Single at eight and a half, uh, top set of three at eight, and then a back down set of three at seven. The top set, me and Ashley both hit 270 kilos that day. It just did not move as 270 kilos for both of us. So that sucked. Instead of an eight and a half, it was more of a nine and a half because I know I could have squeezed out the little chip, but it just was not smooth enough or even selling enough to be on the platform. But yeah, got to feel 270 kilos again in my hands, though, which was the one upside to that because I hadn't hit anything above 260 in so long. Yeah. And then the first set of three, we did 250. I just felt out of gas and it was just like not an RP8. And then the last set of three just did 230 kilos. So this was just a really shitty deadlift session overall. Like, yes, I sound tired, but that's just how I felt that session. So that sucked. Now going into the Saturday session, the last heavy bench day, we had a single at eight and a half and then a three by three at eight. I retook 125 like the previous week. It just did not move very well. It moved like a nine and a half. I know I could have squeezed out two and a half more kilos, but it was just not a good thing. I rushed the pause and everything because I got scared, but it's whatever. It is what it is. We had a 3x3 three three at 8, just did 110 kills for the whole 3x3. Three three. And then Lucas changed me and Asher's deadlift from the calm deadlift to tempo to knee just to work on technique. Lucas capped me at 230 kills this day, so I did 230 for both two sets of three, which was actually a T2K PR. So it was nice getting to tempo 500. So that was cool. 600 kilo weekly total, which was all right, I guess. My all-time is 625 still. Like I said, I'm, you know, I need to be better. Now we are into the taper week, week five of the block. So we had a session on Monday, August 12th, and a session on Wednesday, 
August 14th. These were the last two sessions before meet day. On the Monday session, we just had a comp squat uh, 3x4. So for my first set, I did 170 kilos. That felt really smooth, actually. So that's that was a good sign for squat. Then the rest, the, the last two sets, I did 160 kilos. And then comp bench, we just had a 2x5 at 7. I just did 95 kilos to keep it light because my chest was fried. So that was a really easy taper session. And then the last session, we just had a comp bench 2x4 at 7. I just did 100 kilos for both sets of 4. Those were really smooth. And then we had tempo to knee deads instead of just uh, tech singles. So we had tempo to knee deads prescribed with 200 kilos just to get the feel of it. Those felt really nice. And now we are on into game day. Okay, come meet day. It is in Absolute Flex Appeals new and old facility. It's the facility they originally started up in. So it was a smaller facility. So honestly, the conditions in that warm-up room were not ideal at all. There were just not enough kilo plates. I mean, you got to make do with what you got to do, but there was just not enough keel plates, no combo racks. Like, literally, we were squatting on uh, just regular power racks. So, basically, all our, like I said, we had the whole squad of Legion. So, we had eight guys from Legion taking up 20, taking up eight spots of the 20 people in this meet. All eight of us were squatting in a power rack. So, it ranges from me being 5'9", Larry to 5'6" to all the way to our boy Logan being 6'3 and all that shit. So yeah, nothing was ideal in here, but we had to make do and we we had to make do. So I'm looking at by a 10 sheet what we originally had planned. We kind of changed some things up. So starting off with squat, I'm going to put all my attempts here like I normally do. Starting off on squat, we opened up a little higher than I have normally have on squat. We opened up with 197.5 kilos. And like I said, the conditions were not ideal like you can make excuses all you want we still performed we still executed but it sucked because the carpet on the platform it was not a very grippy carpet and the carpet was not glued to the the wood so you could literally feel the carpet and the wood sliding against each other like this so walkouts felt horrible but yeah i unracked the 197 and a half which is 435 pounds it felt really heavy on the back but once i got settled took the brace it moved really fast and i was satisfied with that Lucas was like, what do you want to do, 205 kilos or 207? I said, let's just do 205 to be safe. We load up 205 kilos, which is 452 pounds. Unrack felt really heavy just because my CNS felt fried. Unrack that, felt really heavy, let the brace settle. I hit the hole. It, my depth was pretty good, but um, it, the 205 just didn't move as convincing as we thought it should. So we were like, okay, let's just take a safe jump and just do 207 and kilos, 207 and a half kilos. So for our third attempt, we did 207 and a half kilos or 457 pounds. This one felt really heavy on the back, but this one actually ended up moving better than the 205. Hindsight is 2020. I think I had 210 kilos that day or even enough to match my all-time uh, squat at 212 and a half kilos. But yeah, that was it for squat. It was just, it was really hard to lock in for me on squat. I don't know why. I just couldn't get in the zone. It was probably just because we had to rush warm up so much. And then like the fact that, like I said, the conditions just weren't ideal. So that sucked. Now going on into bench, it's kind of nice. My my bench opener has steadily climbed over the thing. My bench is still shit, but at least it's still progressing. But um, yeah, bench was also not ideal because if you guys didn't know, in 2022 at USAPL Raw Nationals, the Texas Strength Systems Company changed the bench pad to be a wider and more grippier bench pad. So it feels like a hybrid fat pad and Texas pad. At this meet, we were using the old Texas pad, so it's narrower, harder, and more slippery. So, And the carpet was slippery, so everyone's feet on leg drive were slipping, and everyone's backs were slipping on the bench if you didn't chalk enough, so that sucked. So there was also really long holds and really long press commands, so that was just another factor to be added. We still opened up with 115 kilos or 254 pounds nonetheless. It still moved very smooth. I almost jumped the press command just because I didn't expect the command to be that long, to be honest. But it moved pretty smooth. I was like, let's just jump the 5 kilos to 120, not 122. So we did 120 kilos. And it actually moved a lot smoother than the 115. Lucas was like, do you want to do 125? I was like, no, let's just be safe. Like I said, I haven't benched on this pad in two years. Let's just do 122. It was the right call because 122, I kind of misgrooved the, the touch. And I touched higher on my chest. So that actually felt a lot harder than i needed to but it was a good grind nonetheless and we still went six for six on the subtotal so that was good deadlift i was feeling a little bit iffy about just because of how inconsistent deadlift was all prep warm-ups felt really fucking good the fact that i ended up doing one to three reds 440 or 200 kilos 220 kilos four reds 
and 240 kilos and about like 11 minutes to warm up was not ideal again but we had to make do with what we had to do so originally we were going to open up with 260 on debt on deadlift but i was like hey let's just drop it to 255 just to get something on the board and feel really easy I opened with 255, it moves super fast, but I just threw my head forward on my lockout so fast that it felt like it was a, a little bit harder than it needed to be. Nonetheless, Lucas was like, let's just jump to 267. I was like, that's fine with me, which is 590 pounds. This felt good and bad at the same time. It felt good in the hands because it felt super light off the ground, but like I said, me just trying to clear my lockout too fast, I threw my head forward too much and my right knee locked after I got to the top, so that wasn't the smoothest. And it just wasn't convincing enough to load what we wanted to, which was 280 at the end of the day. So after that, I was like, Lucas, let's just put on 275 kilos, fuck it. Me and the boys were all getting hyped and shit because we were literally the heaviest pullers in the whole meet. Logan finally hit 260 kilos after missing it five different times in prep. Um, Mark hit 260 kilos for a second attempt. He attempted 600, but he just, right before lockout, his belt unlatched on it, so he lost all the pressure, so he had to drop it. Asher loaded up 272 and a half kilos or 600 pounds, and he just got, he got to lockout, and he just couldn't um, finish the pull. And so I was the, the last puller of the meet, which was kind of cool. I've never had that before, but yeah, we had 275 kilos or 606 pounds, which is five reds and the big collar in competition. I was able to get control of the music, so I put on the new <laughs> Roman Reigns theme, theme, the I Am Greatness theme, just the remix version of the Head of the Table theme. Blasting in the building, I was getting really locked in. It felt just like Bab Side Show when I attempted 600 for the first time. And the thing that sucked was the technique on that pull felt the better than my first and second attempt, but it just, I got to the, my knees and I didn't tuck my head enough, and I just started falling forward, and I just unfortunately was not strong enough on the day. So I ended up going 8 for 9, totaling 597.5 kilos, which is still a comp total PR for me by 2.5 kilos, which, I mean, which is cool, I guess, but I mean, like, I'm just... The story of this prep was that this prep overall, I hated Squat, I was really happy with how it turned out. Deadlift, I hated how it felt all prep. Bench was just bench being bench week to week. It was just consistent, but I just, you know, I hate bench. And in the meet, squats felt nice. I wish I could have got a little bit more, but hindsight is twenty twenty. Bench, bench, it, it is what it is. I made do with what I had to do. And then deadlift, it just sucked because the first attempt was really fast. Second attempt was all right. But third attempt, it just felt really good. We just came up short again, and we can put the picture of Sideshow and this meet side by side. You can see the failures of a 600 conventional and a 606 sumo. It makes, it's bittersweet because I've blown up 606 in the past, and I've pulled 280. But... You know, the factors are never going to be perfect on meet day. And yeah, so that is it for the whole prep. And basically the final thoughts of this meet was, of course, I'm disappointed in my performance, but I'm not going to complain because when is the next time you're going to have your whole gym squad compete in a meet together? So that's what made it a lot more enjoyable. Because honestly, if I competed by myself and I had the same performance, I would have been pissed. Like, of course, I'm still annoyed. But, you know, we had all the boys competing together. It was just a really fun uh, meet to do with them and it was just a really fun uh, thing to prep with all of them for 12 weeks I actually had my first experience uh, prepping guys as a coach myself because five of the guys in the meet are were my athletes and then the other three including myself were Lucas's athletes so it's like I said it was Legion phase three and Legion phase four together in one Lucas pulled up to the meet to handle all of us Maddie came with him too Lex was supposed to come but Lex couldn't come because you know Lex always got a flake out I miss you Lex but, um, yeah, it was just fun having all the guys together. And then we had Big O'Brien come and hang out with us to film all of us and just, you know, help in the back, too, if needed. Uh, my parents came down. My dad filmed all my lists with my camera, so that was really good. I posted the meat recap on Instagram. It was pretty lit just because I used the I Am Greatness theme. It's not on Instagram yet, so I literally recorded the whole thing off of Spotify and imported the audio into the thing. So let's see how long that audio lasts. But, yeah, overall, I hated the prep. The meat I'm disappointed in. I'm okay with the subtotal. I was actually like satisfied with after deadlift. I'm just disappointed in my performance, but I can't take that away just because it was just fun overall just to compete with all the guys again. It was fun doing this meet, prepping guys as a coach, and it was also fun competing as an athlete. So 
yeah, that is it with this video. Make sure you leave a like and I'll hit that subscribe button. I don't know when I'll make another long YouTube video like this again, or if I'll even upload that other monologue thing. We'll see, but I will see you in the next one. Peace.